Oh, damn, let's think I did start those at the exact same time. Time to go for a ride. Oh, a little bit tired. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've got the front camera there to be like the cool kids. And I added a little, you probably can see it, get a rig dust mop to, I don't like how this one starts, to uh, wrap around the microphone to see if that helps with wind noise, but this is probably going to be another situation of, it's just not as windy and it's going to sound better because of that. Go for a ride, maybe go down to school, do some practice, not sure, that was cool. I was about to say, when I first walked up there, I felt pretty warm. I thought this was going to be overkill with this uh, liner. Get the spots on. Still working. Do a construction so you guys go screw it out of my subdivision I'll see you guys momentarily if anyone watches any of this shit so we'll see if you're actually looking at me I tried to angle it down I had to put up all these extra pieces on it to try and get a little extension on it to try and get it down so we're not staring directly at it because we already stare kind of part of the windshield as it is Now you can actually see me now and actually can maybe talk during the uh, traffic lights that I cut out because we're looking at us, but I don't have anything exciting to talk about ever anyway, so starting to really like this bike. It is a little bit bigger for me, but I think she's going to be another keeper. We're going to have at least two Benellis in our fleet, maybe more. Benelli, if you're watching, uh, drop off one of those TRK 702s of a Randy Cycle. I'd love to... Uh, Love to give a nice long-term review on it. Or even one of the Leoncinos. I wouldn't mind one of the larger Leoncinos. Maybe not necessarily the 502. But 702. I think they have those. I think they have 802s too, but nothing's here. Nothing's here. Or if you want to feel even better, if you feel like making a large displacement sco scooter, 400 cc's or more. I am definitely your man. I don't have a Celsius degree on this one like my scooter, so I can't tell you exactly how much it is, but like I said, it's kind of chilly. It's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I didn't double check to see that one in front it started, but I heard it say it was, so... I'm going to trust that it is. Bullshit. That was going to be bad. I probably should, I don't know if it would be better to actually raise that shift lever up or not. Because sometimes I do get my foot caught in it. Like trying to get it underneath there. So that's probably what I'm doing. I've done that a few times. I'll probably shift it down when I'm going to scoop my foot under my foot scoop my foot underneath it it's like fog is immediately almost so I have been driving this like just did watch another video but shifting gears to the face of it I have been sticking a little more on I don't like hearing this thing scream but I don't want to be fogging it either shift to 5 6 RPMs, especially like now, it's like, if I shift it up, I'm going to be in that guy's trunk. Or have to, like, now, have to, have to basically slow down or not speed up because I'm going too fast. Yeah, it's pretty cold. It's pretty cold, but now I hear a bunch of wind slapping against me, so... My goal for you guys is to get rid of this effing wind on the cheap, like I am, without buying some $400 microphone or something, or camera that has all the wind reduction, and in reality, like, it sounds a little, uh, I don't know, 
That makes it sound like you're in a cave or it's digitized or it sounds fake to me to a degree. It has processing on it, which I don't like. I like things raw and real. Like I said, like even like these cameras, uh, they might not look completely as pleasing. I think still think they look great enough, but they might not as pleasing as like GoPros and such.
right, right as I was trying to trail Blake like I never do, there just happened to be some gravel right there. Might be another situation like that, like I was talking about, that people intentionally throw gravel on the road to make motorcycles crash. Because they don't want you to zip through here. And that's clearly in the middle of a road, in the middle of a lane like that, like where could that have exactly, uh, Come on, get it moving. Oh, if I have to put the foot down at the last second, you bitch, get moving, get going, bitch.
Alright, well that was whatever it serves of it if I'm going to use any of that or whenever I use any of that. So thank you all much. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And see you later. Bye.